Emmanuel Jal, it is such a pleasure to have you on Music Time in Africa. Oh, thank you for making it possible. Tell me about your new album, Shanga. This is your seventh album. Yes, it's my seventh album. So, Shanga is a thing that I am blessed. Real fight with Lucifer. Writing songs that can program us positively forward, you know, because most of the song, people don't know how songs have got a tremendous way in which they can program us to act a certain way that we didn't know. If you listen to a lot of swearing song, over the time you'll start swearing and cussing people. You ask yourself, why? Why did this come around? It's because of the environment that you've exposed your mind. What makes this album special? It's more dancey, it's more positive, it's more African sound driven. When I first began, I'm more hip hop Focus. Every artist take a while before they find themselves. How are you using music to advance peace and security in South Sudan? So through the activism work, you know, the platform was able to connect with different people that can put a spotlight in South Sudan or Sudan. I always believe when you put a spotlight in a dark place, the evil will perform less. And so with the music, with the awareness, with the campaign, with Save Darfur or Focus in South Sudan, with George Clooney involved, and all of those celebrities and individuals and the organization plus the addition from the United Nations all put an effort. It reduces the damage that could have taken place. Rock a boom, rock a boom, tell like a boom, yeah, a boom. Rock a boom, hey mama, and Lele are my favorite three so far. I have not listened to all the songs on your album yet. So tell me a little bit about the concept of those songs. So basically what we wanted to bring, we wanted to bring fashion, dance, and beauty across. That's what always makes music, but also we want to have the integrity of how we present women in our videos. You know, most of the videos you just won't have a woman naked and a guy next to them, you're surrounded with a woman bunch of women yeah. shaking their bottom at you. Yeah. And I thought like maybe that's not the direction I want to do. I want to see how can we present women in a more realistic way, a lifestyle that is the normal way. How is it working with your sister? It's always amazing with my sister because she has a unique voice, a voice she... that is very authentic and unique. <laughs> do you work with her often? We walk with her, you know, most of the time she has her own thing. She has a different style that she'd like to pursue. So we have to convince her, hey, this is the style that works best for you. <laughs> One last question. If you would like to make any comment to your music fans. What I can say is thank you for believing in us. It's very challenging for a lot of artists to come with sound. You play my music, you share my music, you listen to it, you dance it, you make me relevant. Everything is looking for attention, and anything you give attention, you give life. In my culture, in South Sudan, in Nuer language, or the Nas language, when somebody talks to you and they say, so-and-so has been the person who has been seeing me, that person has looked inside me and understood me, and to us, I would say to, to the fans, thank you for seeing me. Emmanuel Jao, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah.